radius. Looney. The gamer? Yeah. I feel How can it. you tell by my hand? I can feel it. How can I help you? We've got problems starting from cervical upper, going all the way down. And we've got a problem in the mid back, and then goes down to my lumbar, and then my pelvis. So it starts here in the neck on the right side, and all the way down to your pelvis. Yes, it's the, not like a constant pain all the way down. It's just there's points. Are they uh, different it, pains, or is it consistent? It, it's all like the same pain. I feel as if it's more muscle dullness and atrophy because the bones have been out of place. Okay. So I'm not too When sure. did this start? Uh, sophomore year, so sophomore three years year. Ago. Yeah. Sophomore year. So you're down you're in college now? Yeah, first year in college right now. Very cool. Congratulations. Thank you. What are you studying? Uh, industrial electrical technology. Oh wow, nice. And my electrician certificate. Awesome. So you kinda get this then, right? Yep. I'm the human nice. electrician here. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so let's talk about what happened sophomore year. Mm, I was doing the class on the computer, English, just writing a document, and then, you know, in class, you lean on the desk, do whatever. It's that I was, like, using the computer like this, and my neck was bent like this. So I was like, ah, and then with a stiff neck on my left side. Okay. So then it stood up straight, and then from then on, it was just a crink in my neck, I would say. So this was due to posture-related yes. issues at school? Yes. Okay, so bad study techniques. Mm -hmm. but is also, I'd like to add that I did skate throughout those four years. Okay. Had lots of impacts, but nothing I can remember specifically. Okay, well, we'll see if we see anything on the films, really. What kind of skating did you do? Bowls, half pipes, uh, street? Street skate, yeah. Street skate, mm -hmm. having Stairs. fun? Mm -hmm. Lots yeah. of fun. No scare, you're not scared, right? Mm -hmm. No fear on the board? No. So you fell okay. qu then you fell quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've had skateboarding just life skateboard yeah. falls uh bad posture habits in school okay and things start to develop more in terms of the pain you start to get more and more pain as the day goes as time goes on uh it's not really i want to say pain okay it's more of like a discomfort and like a need for a relief of like pressure okay like a, i never feel even i would say Balance. Yeah, balance. Okay. That's the word. Okay. Have you seen anyone for this? Uh, yes, but the chiropractor I went to, I feel as if the adjustment's more general. It wasn't too specific as to my problem. Were you actually told what's going on, what they, the issue they just is? I had scoliosis. <laughs> and then I went on the lift chair where it just rocks up and then they push you down like with the table. Uh, as for. Uh, on the document, I didn't put it down, but I think I have scapular winging stemming from my neck because I remember one time I slept and I woke up and my whole arm was just dropped. It was just really low as in compared to this one. Okay, and the question is why? Yeah. You've heard me talk about the shoulder complex. You've yeah. watched any of my videos about the shoulder complex? I don't. Shoulder joint is the only joint in the body has been taught to me that's under 100 percent neurological control and why that's important it tells us that any shoulder at least for myself any and every shoulder case i've seen always starts with making sure the nerves from the neck and it's getting the power mm -hmm. and information yeah. okay does that make sense yes. and then we go to the scap and then we go to the shoulder it's a little process but we'll figure that part out how is all this affecting quality of life uh, throughout every hour of every day, I pretty much find myself trying to self-adjust or self-extend or something. Just so you're compressed. Yeah. Your body's compressed. You need elongation. Very much so. Are you ready? Very ready. Are you ready? Let's do it. Picture in time, 24 bones in the spine, 23 discs in between. This is the foundation of the 24-story building, which is the sacrum and the pelvis, right? Yeah. Now... There's some curvature stuff. That's okay. But our business here is not to straighten spines. Our business here is to see do we have a stable level foundation here and do we have the right side curves that we need. If we do, then whatever is going on here is that person's norm. Okay? Or if the curvature issue is due to nerve pressure, we get rid of the nerve pressure, what should happen? Logically. Yeah, the ease of life. Exactly. Now, let's 
go here and let's look first generally before we get into the numbers. And let's look at, do we have a symmetrical pelvis? Let's start with the sacrum. And if we look at the sacrum, it's a little bent, right? It's a little bent here, slightly. Your SI joint here is good. Let's just change the contrast for a second. We can see something a little better. And we can see through the joint here, yes? yes. A little bit less into the top there, but the rest is good. When we go here, we can see through the joint space. Now that's kind of covered by the colon. So let's go back, see how it's smooth here? Mm -hmm. And then it gets a little jaggedy there. Yep. That was one of your faults, by the way. Okay, uh -huh. you can also see here, it's a little bent there. That's an old tailbone injury. Okay. You see that? Is that the end of my sacrum or the coccyx? It's coccyx. Okay. S1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the coccyx. We wouldn't start there, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. We've got to see what's going on here in the tailbone and the sacrum. Do you see that? Yes. Do we see the hips level and even, or are they slightly off? I feel like the right one's a little higher. Okay, and then this is the crease of the bum, and this is the pubic bone. Do they line up? Okay, so we have a little bit of imbalance in the, in the foundation. Let's go to the numbers and let's see what they mean. So, what do we have going on here? 229 on the left, 223 on the right, 58, 57, 4.39, 6.2. Now, you've heard me talk about how the, how the foundation of the pelvis works. The pelvis works in opposite. One goes up, the other goes down. One goes in, the other goes out. Let's look at the numbers. Now, if the pelvis misaligns back, posterior, inferior, the vertical distance will be larger. 229, larger number, right? The difference is six between this and this, correct? Okay. Six, so we have a PI6, EX6. So let's go ahead and put that in there just so we have it. Do you mind if I ask for an explanation on the PI and EX briefly? It's just some PI, posterior inferior. So your left pelvis goes down, posterior inferior. If this is down, this one is up. Okay. okay? Then it goes EX, out. I'm referencing the, P, the dimple to the sacrum. It's gone PI, posterior inferior, and it's gone EX, this way, out. So your body is favoring, your pelvis favors to go to the right side. The one millimeter difference in terms of the in terms of the sacrum it's not so significant to me right now and we have a short leg on the left side on the side of a PIE axillium this is there's a little bit of good news there and the reason why is this so the measured difference here is 4.39 measured correction of a PI6 EX6 that's 12 the you add the numbers 12 times 0.4 4.8 it's going to come back if we fix our left pelvis. It's good to hear. Yes, sir. Now, I'm referencing it because of the side of the rotation here and because of the lumbar body rotation. So the way we list the pelvis in the Gonstead analysis, you list the pelvis that's on the side of lowest lumbar body rotation. So if we're looking at lumbar body rotation, which, ways are, which way is the lumbar body rotated? Spinous is to the left, so the body rotation is to the right. All right. All right. So if this is the PIEX, this is the ASIN. It's the exact opposite. Okay. So this would be AS6IN6. This would be PI6. But it doesn't mean we're adjusting both. And you may see that a lot in, in uh, other channels and videos, right, where there people are adjusting both sides of the pelvis and then they go face down crack 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 face up twist twist we don't do that here there is a special case where both pelvis are subluxated both both si joints and i have a case like that uh, where i show the inex where both are actually subluxated or, or misaligned or, or stuck okay but that's not your case here, whether we're adjusting the left or the right. I'm going to find that on you. Awesome. Then we have a slight curvature going here. Yes? Yes. Okay. From the curvature, it's coming back to neutral. Okay. Now, let's go up. Here we go. All right. So, another good fall here. You see, these two line up. It's starting here. So those are okay. That's where it starts. That's the slight kink that's causing this neck issue. 
and it's starting T1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And guess what area that also controls part of our digestion system. Yeah. So T6 is where it's starting. T5, 4, then 3 kind of shifts a little more, right? And it causes that king. That's probably one another fall or whatever, but it's fine. Now let's go up. We have a jaw. You have TMJ issues as well. All right, here's what I need you to see. So you see the kink, it goes from here, right? And then it levels off right there. C2, C3, C4 levels off, and then 3 goes off. Do we have any breathing issues, anxiety, shortness of breath? Sometimes I have shortness of breath. When you're exercising or just so nervous? It's kind of random. I can't pinpoint what makes it happen, but possibly exercising. I do recall scenarios, but it happens when I'm not exercising as well. Okay, all right. So in terms of the, this, we're going to look closely in here, okay? Because you can see this kink as well, right? You see C2 is king. It's kind of kinking like this. But again, is it compensation of this, which is compensation of this, which is compensation of down below? You have a right jaw issue. Left is a compensated jaw. So we need to deal with that as well if that shows up or along the way, right? Along the process. Okay, let's go to the side profile. And let's do your posture assessment. And the way we do the posture assessment, we're going to run the plumb line. And we're going to see if everything kind of lines up. L5 or the lowest lumbar body should go through C7. Nice. And C2. Does that look good to you? C2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. C2. Maybe it's slightly back a millimeter, but I'm not, I'm not so concerned about that. Good posture. Good posture. I'm going to touch you right. How long have you been doing your hair? Uh, I dread since 8th grade. Okay. I haven't cut it since. Starting at the base of the neck. First thing I'm getting, 12 points, C7. 10 points, C7. 10 points, C1. C1, C7, 10 points. 10 points, T6. T6, T7, left side, 10 points. S2, S3. Well, you a 10 today, though. <laughs> Sit up straight. I'm getting you back to zero. You're going from 10 to zero. I like being a 10, though. Yeah, but here you want to be a zero. 10, left side. This is all left-sided. S2, S3, T6, T7, C7, C1. Next thing we want to do is let's check the motion. Feet together. Scoot. Are your feet touching the ground? Yeah. Okay, feet together. Open and close the knees, please. Open and close. Let's watch my thumbs. Left side only. Good. Right side only. It's misleading here, yo. Slow it down. Feet are touching? Yeah. Okay. Right side. My heels are on the ground, if that matters. Yeah, it should be. Scoot forward so yeah. everything is flat. Feet together, open and close. Both. Keep going. Right side only. Left side only. Right side. This is left pelvis. It's very subtle. It's right here, okay? Right. Left side. Yeah, the right stays put, okay? At the very end, there's a little movement, which is more mainly coming from that sacrum. Scoot back for me, please. All right, let's do static palpation. You can see the swelling edema all kind of pool in right there. Right there. Tender. More tender here or here? Down low. Round your back, please, sir. Round. I don't have to go so hard. Right? You can see the spine disappears right there. The spine is processed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or seven? Eight. Eight or nine? Eight. Eight. Let's continue. You can see this. This is all compensation. That's all swelling. 
And all of this is a function of, goes right there to the sacrum, right there. S1, S2, that one's not moving. S3, that's S2. S2, left pelvis, T8. Now let's check up top. You following me? You flowing with me? Yes, I am. Awesome. Sit back for me, please. Now we have to do divorce test, which is to isolate lower upper cervical to determine where we're going to start, okay, in the neck. Look up. We're isolating lower cervical. Turn right, turn left. Little tight at the end, but still have good movement. Yes? Yes. Head down. Turn left. Turn right. Good movement also. You do a lot of stretching? Not a lot. You have good flexibility overall. That's C1. Tender. C2 on the right, C1 on the right, not bad. Head down, please. C7, C6, C7, T1. Bend right, bend left. We're going to start on C1. We're going to start on C1, left side. We're going to start on S2. And the reason why, typically there are five tubercles, right? We have five sacral segments that fuse or ossify at about age 32, 34. You're young. You haven't even fully ossified yet. So we're able to feel the individual tubercles move on you. And while it looked like down here, that's the one not moving today. Okay. So that's the one we're going with. We're not chasing an x-ray. Cool. Yes. S, S2, T8, and C1 on the left side. Okay. That's our start today. Then I'll have you walk. We'll recheck everything. All right. And then we'll tune up whatever else we need to do after that. You have any questions with what I found? No. Does that make sense? It does. But I do have a question. Yeah. When I palpate my, I don't know if it's palpation, but when I go up my neck, I feel the transverse process but shooting out a lot more on the right that's okay it's like a feeling that i've been wanting to get rid of what are you talking about uh let me say c2 now you're talking about this thing uh yeah. show me right here let go that yeah okay let's go back to the x-ray it's a good question too transverse processes transverse processes they're so tiny there aren't they that's the lamina you're feeling this i've been wondering okay so the nerves and blood vessels go through there you're feeling this over here on the side but what i was showing is whether i'm feeling it here and i'm finding it here mm -hmm. um, this we'll see what happens after we do the the, the one down below but in terms of feeling the transverse, you're feeling C2 here because it's tilting and watch, it's tilting and rotating. You're feeling that bump, okay. which is the lamina, which goes to the articular pillar. Okay? okay? Yes. Okay. You guys ready? Let's do it. Face down, please, on the gray table. Right over here. You know what? Let's wait on that. Go face down. We're going to do T8 in sacrum. Okay? Right. And then we're going to recheck that after. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So let's get that tissue out of the way. Let's get right on that bone. You good, sir? Good. Gotcha. It's pretty flexible, y'all. S2. Mm -hmm. S2. And that's the home run. Bro. Nice. You good? Yes, sir. Come on up.
come off slowly. Let's walk it off. Excellent. And you're going to walk about three times back and forth, okay? All right. As you're walking, let me know if anything is different. <clears throat> Walk on your toes. Good. Walk on your heels. Back over here, have a seat. Let's continue. Let's recheck. Okay. Head down, please. Starting at the base. Base of the neck is still there. But the top one cleared up. Something told me to wait, yo. So this one actually cleared up. This is the one that's there still. Yep, still there. Let's do the base. All right. It's not a rack and crack, right? No. Sit back for me, please. How was the sacrum for you? Uh, how's it feeling now? Or? How was the adjustment for you? Um, was it sharp? Did it hurt? No, it didn't hurt, but it was kind of sharp. But I felt looser after walking. C7. Should I clench my jaw? No, just relax the best you can, sir. Good. Gotcha. I think we got a tiny bit more. Let's take it home. Take it home. Home. That's the one. Gotcha. That was the one. That was the one. First one was a little crackly, right? Mm -hmm. When I hear that, it's more scar tissue. Mm -hmm. Needed a little deeper set. Walk that off, sir. Awesome. Keep going. Great. Have a seat, please. Look to the left. Look to the right. Look up at the ceiling. To the left. To the right. Look down. To the left. To the right. Okay. Let's rescope. Upper neck is still clear. Base is clear of the neck. T8 is clear. Sacrum is clear. Sit up straight, sir. Feet together, scoot forward. Open and close the knees, open and close. Left side only, right side. Very nice. Come back towards me all the way, sir. Keep the head straight. That's five. S1, S2, S3. Okay, let's continue. Right shoulder, good. Let's work on that left shoulder. Sit back for me, please. Before we do that, let's do the ears. Nice. Left shoulder, over. On your back on this side, please. Let's start the ankles, okay? Now, I don't want to pull the ankles today just because we did the low back. On you, first visit. I don't want to have variables in there. We'll start by just getting them moving. And what we're doing is AS talus, anterior superior talus. You feel these? More here. I feel this side a little bit more. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do AS talus, medial tilt. Good. AS talus, medial tilt. Walk it off, dude. Okay. Walk on your toes, please. Good. Walk on your heels, please. 
as you're walking, tell me if anything is different. Regular walking, please. I feel my foot's just not pronating out as much. Good. Does it feel a little more stable in your walk? Yes. Cool. Power is on. Yep. Over here, please. Squeeze my hand. Hard. Relax. Squeeze. Hard. Relax. Squeeze, relax, elbow, posterior, ulna, posterior, distal, radius, posterior, lunate. That's butter, baby. Squeeze, <laughs> squeeze. Okay, radial head. You a gamer? Yeah. I feel I can't it. You tell by my hand. I can feel it, dude. <laughs> it's a real chiropractor right here. What's your game? True, Destiny, all that stream. Is that right? Going, yeah. Never done it. You know what games I used to play back in the day? What? ColecoVision. ColecoVision? Yeah. Is Anyone know ColecoVision? I never heard of it. That's way back in the day. So the first were the, the stick and ball, uh -huh. right? Oh, so it was a big old console with a, with a, with a knob. And there was a stick and ball, and you're just playing ping pong back yeah, and that's forth. OG. Then from there, we had Atari. Oh, yeah. Atari had ColecoVision. ColecoVision was Commodore 64. Mm. And, I st and I had Nintendo, but not Nintendo 64. That was too, that was too high tech. Ah. That, was, that was out of our league. Squeeze. Good. Relax. Lunate. I need to learn those ones. Lunate and scaphoid. Well, good news. Starting in the new year, we're going to be doing a whole online school of adjusting. No way. And it's going to be available to everyone around the world. Wow. Uh, yeah. Sign yeah. me up. <laughs> squeeze. Good. Squeeze. Yes? Yes. Squeeze. You see the difference? You're not doing this. Yeah. That's the gaming. Squeeze. <laughs> All you gamers out there need to get the ulna checked, radial head, posterior distal radius, posterior lunate, posterior lateral scaphoid. All you gamers out there, I got you. Squeeze. Nice. Good. When did you start watching the videos? I'm curious. Uh, uh, right when my neck went out and uh, sophomore year, so three That's, years ago. You started watching ago. chiropractic? Mm -hmm. okay. when, when did you find our channel? In terms of that year, just ooh, at the, like, I'd say three months in. Cool. It started off watching others, and then I was like, this is the guy. Everyone's helping in some way, mm -hmm. okay? Everyone yeah. helps in some way. There's still a bit there, dude. Yeah, That's why I'm just, try, I'm just trying to work it. What you got to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Questions for today? No, sir. All right. Um, you're going to have a little homework. Mm -hmm. Shush is going to book a couple of visits with you for some follow-ups. You do know i got a baby coming any day now. Mm -hmm. Baby's coming. I'm going to have to take some time off, off okay? So I'm yeah. just letting everybody know. Mm -hmm. All right. Welcome to the office, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it.